We all know symbols. They help you to cross the street, or they help you to find the bathroom. They warn you of certain dangers and so on. Where do they come from? Let's go back to Vienna in the early 1920s. During the interwar period, Vienna was a city in transition. Great tensions among cultural and political movements determined everyday life. Society had to face the fact that their acts would no longer have an impact on local structures only. International communication became more and more important. Language is the main medium of all communication. But verbal language is burdened with positive and negative connotations. Vision is the saving link between language and nature. Pictorial statistics eliminate this kind of connotations and force spectators to come to their own conclusions. Otto Neurath founded the Vienna method of pictorial statistics in the early 1920s. This system uses simplified pictures to bring social and economic information to a general public. Neuwald hopes to establish a global standard for education and to unite humanity by an organized, universally readable language of vision. To create this new visual language, Neuwald needed a talented art director. German printmaker and painter Gerd Arms was persuaded to take this role. He joined a team of statisticians, artists and cartographers to work on the project. The Vienna method of pictorial statistics was later renamed Isotype, International System of Typographic Picture Education. The fundamentals of the Vienna method are signs, which are simple stylized symbols and which are used to characterize social concepts. Men, women, cockwheels, vacuum cleaners, phones, ships, etc. A famous example is the sign for the unemployed. A man with both hands in his pocket. A pictogram does not stand for an object in particular. An isotype character has features common to a varied class of objects. Neuwert believes that language is the medium of all knowledge. He held, as mentioned before, that vision is the saving link between language and nature.